This time I made sure to unmute the mic. This time I remembered that that was something I should probably do before I start talking. So, that is in fact what has happened. And in a shocking twist, somehow, somehow, the... Ooh, nice. We already got some dropped frames off the rip. Somehow... Uh, stream manager was behind the stream. That was pretty funny. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually it's the other way around. Usually what ends up happening is... Can I make myself a little bit bigger? I think I can. Yeah. Usually what ends up happening is... Uh, the stream that I'm looking at is usually a little bit behind stream manager. So it's kind of funny to see that that happened in reverse. It's also very kind of hard to see right now. That's just because of the shaders. While we're here, today we're going to do Weasel Impact. Today we're going to be hunting around for some, uh, some new fun friends for the Serena Teapot, which currently I believe is still under maintenance. But we are collecting animals for the Serena Teapot. But while we're here, as I am at 141 new resin, we are going to do a run of this first. And also, I'm going to make sure that my Genshin settings didn't get disabled. Because I have a sneaking suspicion they did. Not that I have anything to back that up. It's just a hunch. Is that this? Is that this? And this. And surprising too. I'll have to turn up uh Yeah, I'll have to turn up Genshin because let's do that here. Hopefully that's not too loud. Come on, load. Because the way I have the audio set up, since OBS like doesn't like Capturing game audio, I guess. You have to do some stuff with it. Come on, load, please. Uh, I have it set up to where I can't actually hear the game. That's set all good. That's all good. Cool. Um, yeah, I have it set to where the, I can't actually hear the game. I actually just hear it through the stream. Which, you might say, that's kind of scuffed, and I will say it is scuffed, but, uh, it works. So that's something. Plus, uh, the other thing could be the filters. That probably doesn't help either. We tried streaming with the filters one time at 60 frames for... Okay, that's way too loud. Let me drop that back down to where it was. There we go. That seemed like it went faster than normal. Yeah, it seems like it went a little faster than normal. Interesting. Normally, Fischl has her burst back by the time I finish the rotation. Oh, wait, could it be because... I don't think it's... That's, oh, we didn't get anything good. We didn't get anything cool. That's enough time that I've bought. Uh, so we'll be on our way. And to do that, first we must... Grab this Omni Ubiquity net. And secondly, we must go... Unequip? Oh, did I unequip it? We must go to the party section and we must put together the exploration party, which of course consists of Sayu, Kazaha, Venti, and Kokomi. The most balanced team comp you've ever seen. Never seen anything better. And I guess I did have that equipped and I unequipped it. If the filters get... I'll keep an eye on the stream. If the filters get a bit hard to see... I think it should be okay, as long as we don't go anywhere super dark. But if it gets really bad, I'll just turn off the filters. And that's as easy as just hitting a button. I'll just change which cap- well, like, which screen OBS is capturing, and it should be fine. 
Hello, Waka Murasaki. I'd like to buy some Omni Ubiquity Nets. I have five each week. I have not bought any since the last time, or I bought some. So we only have 17. Now, I even set this up. Okay, the living beings. Okay, the animals. We still got some of these. I don't know where these are, or what these birds are. Still kind of unsure about that. And then these are the capturable ones, I assume. Or no, they might just be the things that we've already caught. I'm also missing a fish. I don't know about that one either. No, the, okay, so they just mark... Okay, these are capturable. They mark the capturable ones. Cool. I'm really upset uh, while we're on it uh, that you can't catch the forest boars because there's this little bitty baby boar over in Liyue, and I'm really upset you can't catch it. It's interesting, too, that you can catch some of the cats, unless these are ones I just haven't caught yet. They might just be things I haven't caught yet, although I'm fairly certain I haven't caught any of these. Um... But if it is marking what you can and can't catch, it's kind of interesting that you can only catch some of the cats. These also might just be the ones that you had to buy from the merchant, so they're not going to let you catch them yourself. That would make more sense. The falcon, I'll be honest, I tried catching this guy. Uh, I went to one of the spawn points where, you know, they circle around. It's so hard to hit them, so it makes sense you can't catch them. And I'm really upset you can't get the ducks either. That upsets me a little bit too. But we got a fish that we're missing, and we got four birds. I tried looking on the wiki, but they don't have too good of a animal list. I suppose I could try pulling up the interactive map and see if I can track down the animals there. But what I really want to do is I want to get some of these coral flies. I can't get this guy anymore. Rip. I don't believe. That was part of the Enkonomiya, uh Three boxes, three gateways, three realms, gateways, box, box thing. So that kind of tilts me that I can't get that anymore. But luckily, I can find the rest of these. So first on the list are crystal flies. Luckily, all four of them that we can get are quite easy to find. Uh, first of all, if we want to get crystal flies, it's very simple. We can go here and tilt, but I think I've caught those. So let's go here instead. We'll just go here, and you're still flying. Where are you? Well, bam. Not flying away this time. Interesting, that's an achievement. Cool. And then while we're at it, since we've already caught... Actually, you know what? Let's get some more. Oh, it's running away. You just wait until my Omni Ubiquity Net gets off cooldown. Oh. Rip. Anyway, unusual hilly churl, are you here? Nope. Couldn't be that convenient, could it? Next, if we want to get Geoflies, the obvious answer is to go to Guyan, because there'll be a whole horde of them right here. Alternatively, we could go to that little hidden spot, which I will probably go to afterwards to actually, like... Oops, this is not what I wanted to do. <gasps> Your stream says Scarlet Nexus? Oh no. Oh, I didn't change that. Rip. I changed everything but that. I also realized yesterday I didn't change the, uh... There we go. It's, I'm going to have to change that after the stream, too. Uh, I realized yesterday, too, that I had yesterday marked as uh, day three, even though it was day four. So that was kind of a rip. That was... Oh, oh I forgot. I don't have his... I don't have his jump. Well, we'll just go and snag these ones over here. Also, I forgot. I have the... I do the same thing, yeah. Sometimes, I don't know. It's pretty funny when it happens sometimes. Uh, I do have the, right? Let me make sure so I don't make a fool of myself. Yeah. Yeah? 
Yeah, yeah. I do have the JP voices on right now, so I probably actually... Probably none of these have any, like, actual voice dialogue, so I would do them. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Oh, isn't there the merchant thing coming up, too? That's not, like, a thing that I'll stream, though, because that's just a fetch quest. Um, but yeah, if we finish up really early, like, if I catch... Well, actually, what'll actually end the stream is when I run out of Omni Ubiquity Nets. But when that happens, uh, I think we'll start the Fatui quest, because I'm still not sure what this blue circle's about. But I do know that there's someone I need to talk to, like, right here. And there's also a cool Shadow Man in a cave, like, in here. He He's guarding a luxurious chest, and when I unlocked his gate the other day, he started monologuing. So I was like, ooh. I already fought two of these guys on stream. I should probably fight him on stream, too. Apparently, there's supposed to be seven of them. I think they're part of some sort of, like, world quest or something. Or, like, hidden objective. Anyway, that's two crystal flies done. The next easiest place would probably be Tatarasuna. This will actually, I think, be easier to go this way than that way. Even though we'll have to be going up. It really doesn't matter. We just got to get to the walkway. And we don't have to worry about Bell Thunder in here anymore, which is nice. At least, I'm pretty sure we don't. Yeah. I didn't go through that whole quest for nothing. It really is dark with the shadows. Oh, Season Mage, don't fight me, please. No, don't fight me. No. I beg. I beg of thee. Yep, bye. And then, I believe, I haven't played Genshin in a while since started, uh, Tower of Fantasy Close Beta started. Yeah, I saw some stuff about that. I think there's some Crystal Flies here. I thought about applying for Close Beta, but I don't know. I just, I have, with something like that, I don't know. I feel like I have a very low willpower to go through that whole process and then you're like oh well you didn't get accepted i mean it's like literally nothing you're gonna fill out a form and all the other stuff but i don't know i just feel like i'd get too busy and then i really wouldn't be able to like have time to actually enjoy it i don't know where i'm going but it looks really interesting was Tower of Fantasy, was that the one that they had the problem with a couple months ago? Or was that something else? I know there's one of them. There's something with like an item thing. Global release would be better when all the bugs are fixed. Yeah. The, I might go for the, I actually know. I was going to say I might apply for the Star Rail beta. But thinking about it, I don't really want to play Star Rail until... I finished going through like the story in Honkai. I guess they're both Honkai. And so I probably won't join the beta for that just because there's no way I'm going to beat the story in Honkai Impact before Star Rail comes out. The bugs are fixed in the CN servers. That's nice. I will say that is like one benefit of having like multiple split up servers for different regions. They have multiple different rollouts that they can do. It's not just like, oh, everything comes out all at once. So if there's a problem with one of them, there's a problem with all of them. It's kind of like everything's kind of staggered a little bit. Well, this is great, but these aren't crystal flies. So... So you know they got the 2.0 update, they way ahead. Hmm. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? I don't know. Star Rail looks interesting. I, but I don't know how I... I don't know. It looks like a game that I'd really like to watch and not play. Ooh. The blizzard died down, which is lucky. Hopefully it's a good sign. Finally took Ingbert out. Wasn't enough to deal with loot. Uh, wasn't able to deal with loot there under the circumstances, but with that wound, it shouldn't be a problem. Next, I'll head east where the mountain meets the sea. If I can make it that far, I have a chance of survival. <gasps> Excuse me. 
Star Rail's a gotcha JRPG, uh... I don't know, it looks interesting. East, where the mountain meets the sea. Well, that's really vague. I saw a trailer. I completely forgot that Star Rail was a thing. Until... What was I doing? Oh, I was looking at... Uh, when I decided to get... Stella Glow and Radiant Historia this weekend. Or, yeah, this weekend. Um, I was looking at trailers to decide, like, whether or not I would th thought I would like them. And we're slowly getting colder. Dig. Oh. Huh. And... Somehow I got into IGN and it played an ad for Star Rail. And I was like, what is this? I was like, is this Honkai? And then I saw a dude and I was like, it's not Honkai because there's a man. It can't be Honkai. <laughs> and then it was like Star Rail and I was like, oh yeah, that is a thing. I don't know. A lot of fancy stuff coming out. Crystal flies, where are you? I remember seeing crystal flies around entrances and exits. Have you seen Nino Kuni Cross Worlds? It looks really good. I haven't. I saw. I saw some stuff about. I think it was Nino Kuni 2 when it first came out. I don't know. I just saw that it was made by level 5, and I was like, you know what? They made Fantasy Life, so like maybe I should check it out. But I haven't seen anything about Crossworlds. And I'd never really looked too much into 2 either. Is that a Dragon Tooth? Did they all respawn? Nice. I'll take this, even though I have no intention to ever use it. I thought there were- yeah, there are. Okay, cool. I did make a mark. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure there's star silver around here. There we go. Hmm, maybe the crystal flies are here. I have a- for some reason I have a feeling that they're either at an entrance like this or they're on the outskirts, on the path leading out. But that's just a big feeling. I regret not rolling for Kokomi. Yeah, when it happened, I was like, you know what? I'm going to roll for Kokomi. And then I rolled for Kokomi and then I got her and I was like, I kind of regret my decision. But then I was like, I kind of don't regret my decision. And now she's friendship level 10. But that's just because uh, she she's what's... She's what's... <gasps> Crystal fly. She's what keeps the commission party alive because the commission party is hot garbage. What are you gonna do when you got a bunch of unbuilt characters struggling to fight enemies? Slap on Kokomi and then just win. <laughs> My party always dies. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I have you yet. Yo, don't run away. Oh, this is a... Hmm. The real question. Which one of you do we get rid of? We need Sayu, and I would prefer to keep Kazaha because I find his skill more useful since he can use it in the air, unlike Venti. Um, so I might want to get rid of Venti. But the problem is, if I get rid of Venti, I lose the, s the gliding stamina. Bennett sucks and he's the only healer. Yeah, especially with the... It's 70% HP cap. Yeah. That can be kind of annoying. I think we replace Venti. We hit him with good old Aloy. Yeah, what, a, what an amazing team comp we've got here. Let's look at their artifacts. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, he doesn't even have four piece. Oops. That's kind of an L. Why doesn't he have four piece, uh, Viridescent? Because it's Venti? Yeah, Venti. Only using for buff. Yeah. 
I don't know. Bennett Ceiling definitely saves me. Uh, Spiral Abyss when I face tank everything. And Lurk have a shower. Alright. Now, the real question is... Which one of these got replaced by Heart of Death? Where is my Heart of Death timepiece? Oh, it's official has it. Obviously. And then, also, my... Where's my tricorn? There we go. There. We've got a very good uh, Aloy build. She's on 4-piece Heart of Depth, which we all know is the best set for a cryo character. She's got 14 crit rate and 126 crit damage. And she's using Rust. Actually, wouldn't she be a pretty good... Actually, I know. I feel like... Maybe like Aloy could do Shiminawa pretty well. But she has to hold on to my non-existent Heart of Depth set so I can put it on somebody when I get them. When I get a Hydro character that isn't a support and can actually use Heart of Depth. Oh, we need more Hydro characters in this game. Well, now I'm going to go to Enkinomiya and cry because there are no more coral butterflies. So. Let's do that. I think I did it off stream, but I did a bunch of quests in Enkinomiya. I did like the, the children thing where you find about the children's sacrifices and you got to play hide and seek with them. And then they tell you, some of them are like, you're a liar. And they like insult you and then they leave. And I was just like... Well then, let's look at these living beings. It'd be really funny if we could capture some of these things. I think that'd be really funny. Like you run into Storm Terror's domain and just go, boom, gotcha, Devalon. Oh, it tells me how many times you fought him. I fought Asta how more times than I fought Storm. Oh no, that makes sense. I fight you in co-op all the time. I think it's pretty funny. I fought you two about the same amount of times. It's just because you don't have a teleport waypoint. I'm sorry, uh, Boreas. Child, Asta. These two make sense. You're fun to co-op with, and you're easy to nuke for that free uh, chance at... Get oh, these things! <sighs> the Hydrofungus. I wish we were able to catch these things. They're so cute. I have the storm. Anyway, we got three birds here. Four birds. What are these birds? I have a sneaking suspicion that this is also a die or an angelfish. But I'm not quite sure. I also want to catch some of these Unagi because they tilt me so much when I try to catch them and they run away. But now that I have Sayu, it's all over. But anyway, let's see if I can figure out what these fish are. What this one missing fish is. Fish. No, File Explorer, I didn't. Fish, Genshin. Genshin Impact Fish. What does the wiki have to say? Fish is a cooking ingredient. Oh, that's not what I... That's not what I meant. Oh, possible ingredients. Ah, you are it. The abiding angelfish. I found you. They only spawn between the hours of 6 o'clock, or 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Interesting. False worm bait. Where do they go? Oh, have I really never caught any of you? Interesting. It's time to go see everyone's favorite Adeptus. Cloud Retainer. The most comedic Adeptus we've ever met. The, do you rem you want me to tell you stories about Ganyu when she was a baby? I will say, I'm all for like, nice, complex characters. 
but sometimes you really just gotta boil everyone down to like one character trait and it just gets so much funnier I even marked this fishing spot. Have I really never caught one of these things? It's probably never been the right time. Superhero. Well, I know it's not the right time now. But I do have... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna... Oh, I like the... I think I talked about this last time. I like that you can now double... Like, you can go full whole... Two whole days now. Because now people can get like really cool time lapses if they wanted to for like backgrounds or something like that or like animated video. I don't know something. You do something cool. Ooh, that actually I want to do this. This reminds me of uh that one scene in the opening of Your Name. Like obviously it looks like the very start, but it also looks like uh, it reminds me of like the opening. Where they do like the fashions of time thing where what's his face i don't remember his name um it's like three cuts and every time he he's like turning around to look behind him except it's not like a smooth thing it's like three different angles and when he does it it cuts to a new angle every time well it's it's 7 a.m we got 877 of these because I made a ton of them and then realized I really only needed them for Reime. And then regretted my decision a lot. Right. I don't think I have you, but you're at least you're not a glazed Madaka, so you're at least you're interesting. <gasps> we found one. I will say, in my opinion, speaking of fishing, I think the English Paimon talks the least out of all of the Paimons when fishing. That's just my opinion though, but from what I've seen trying to get the catch, it seems like English Paimon talks the least. I don't know. Maybe that was just me, but it seemed like she talked a lot less. I really, I like almost didn't hear anything while, like maybe a couple times it was like steady now, almost got it. What is it? <gasps> is it another Paimon? But I only really heard those like if it took a long time towards the end. I never really heard any voice lines while fishing. Like obviously, if I do this, I'm probably going to get hit with the fight fight right away. Oh, and of course the game, of course the game doesn't, but that was just my, my personal experience, my completely subjective, my completely subjective uh, analysis of fishing with Paimon. It's too far away. Fishing with Paimon sounds like a TV show. They actually, you know what? Fishing with Paimon sounds like uh, the four minute like spin-off episodes that they would have if Genshin was an anime. Oh, I know what I'm thinking of. Fishing with Paimon sounds like At Home with Robert. The Simply Safe. It's Simply Safe, right? The Simply Safe commercials. I like those commercials. The recent ones, the one they keep playing right now about like, uh, Having home video to like confirm a intruder for the police. That one's not as cool as the other ones, or it's not as good as the other ones, I think. But they're fairly entertaining ads. Like, I've seen worse ads. I've seen ads that were a lot less interesting. And it's also nice that it doesn't seem like they've shortened them too much. I remember there was, what was it, Progressive or State Farm or something. There was a. Do you want to try and fight with this team? Do I want to put myself through that pain? No, I really want to use Noel. We're going to use Noel. In White Blind, yeah. We're going to use Noel. Make Hopefully, people have the right artifacts. In fact, I'm fairly certain people don't have the right artifacts, but that's a problem for somebody else. Did I just immediately use my skill in my burst? Yes. 
Was that a good idea? No. Am I gonna keep doing it? Yes. Come here. Hilly Churl, you've given me so much grief. I can't tell you how many times I died yesterday after Kutchin got overloaded to death trying to fight y'all. Imagine not cycling through your skills in the Geo team to funnel particles back into Noel while she's bursting so you can burst off cooldown. Couldn't be me. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Is that? That's not what he says, does he? Talking about Joker. He doesn't say that, right? He, he just says, look at me. Does he? I don't remember. It's been too long. Bam. Look at that. A team of characters that do not need the... Okay, you know what? Where is he? Here he is. Sorry, Ganyu, but uh... This is now the Ganyu team. Ah, yes. Everyone's... I mean, if you think about it, if Ganyu is Cryo Amber, isn't Sara also kind of similar to, like, Electro Amber? Right? Right? Like, I'm not crazy, right? All three of them have E's that do something. I guess it's the link of Amber's E is a taunt that she can throw. Ganyu's E is a taunt that sends her backwards. And Sara's E isn't a taunt, but it does send her backwards. So in that regard, they're kind of linked. They share a common link with Ganyu. Oh, I never noticed this before. Uh, Ganyu C6 allows for an instant uh, quick shot after she uses her E. Sara's E reduces her, her charge shot cooldown to like 0.3 seconds after she uses it for a super fast charge shot. Uh, Amber's E is an AoE set of stuff that comes down from the sky. Ganyu's, or not E, Q. Ganyu's Q is also an AoE like ice thing that comes down from the sky. And Sara's E or Q is also an AoE thingamajiggy that comes down from the sky, except it's Electro. And also, uh, I'm not gonna have fun because I already know which ley line this is because I did this one yesterday and it was not fun. Time to suffer. But at least this time Toma has Favonia's Sphere, which instantly makes this uh, a le lot better. Spear, Lance. There is an actual difference between those, right? If I remember correctly, there's a difference. There's an actual difference between the spear and the lance. Where a spear is usually used for like, uh, can also be used for throwing. I guess that's the difference between like a spear and a pike, right? Like a pike is usually a solid, um, full piece. Whereas a spear can be like something attached, like a spear head, whereas a pike is usually like all one thing. I don't know. I'm slowly dying. Don't die. Touching, don't die. That's not great. I like being alive. I like being alive. Uh, Jean, if you could, uh... Is that gonna be enough? Oh, just enough. Toma, if you could please... There we go. One more for good measure, get that third seed, and uh... Get that shield going. Do one of these ones. Alright. Well, bam! Here we go. Anyway, I didn't even know why I'm doing this. We should be hunting for animals. We should be hunting for those other birds. Alright, Genshin Wiki. Bird. Bird. I should probably search Fowl. That would probably make more sense, because then it'll lead me to things that... Not Owl. Fowl. Fowl. Fowl is a cooking ingredient used in recipes to create food items. Fowl is dropped upon death. 
uh, death by birds found around Tevat. The amount varies according to the animal size. See the video guide section or the Tevat interactive map for some specific locations where animals dropping fowl can be found. <clears throat> Excuse me. Raw meat can also be dropped by destructible crates, barrels, and pots found all over Tevat as well as some chests, and can also be obtained by completing expeditions in Winyarized Mondstadt or Musoegian Gorge, Inazuma. Shop availability. One shops that sell fowl. Giraffe. Interesting. Hmm. How to obtain birds. Wildlife birds. Okay, so I'm missing Umbertail Falcon, Lapis Gleed, and Silk White Falcon. And I'm also missing Crow. Quoth the Raven Nevermore. That's not the right button. Corvus something something? It is a crow. These are on Surumi Island, right? Oh no. Grand Narukami. Interesting. I would have thought they would have been on Surumi Island. There's a crow in, I thought, uh, Sun Forest, and also in Alakuna Peak. Oh, that was the one I was trying to catch. There's one in Guyon for the Lapis Gleed. Two on Guyon. Let's go for the one in Guyon. Well, they're both on Guyon. They can be found northwest of the teleport waypoint. And okay, well. My, uh, my quest to take down all birds has begun, and first we must go to here. Oh. <laughs> Missed opportunity to not have Yanfei sneeze. Sometimes I feel like Yanfei should be the poster girl for this channel, instead of how Eula kind of is or isn't. And no, I'm not trying to look up her skirt. But this camera angle is awful, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Probably should have switched to Toma. Please don't call catching. There we go. Let's switch, uh, let's switch to Toma. He's taller. Yes, Toma. Keep jumping. If you whistle while you sprint up the hill, you can climb it wherever. I hear there's a bird. Bird? Oh, I see it. I see the shadow of the bird. Sorry, don't fail me now. Where's the bird? Okay, how does it fly? That's pretty convenient. A little up and a little sooner. Maybe when it hits the cloud, when it goes through. Ooh. Maybe the second bump in the cloud, I think, will be enough time if we just slip on by. Ooh. I mean, if I could reasonably. Oh. Can I just do this? No, not high enough. There we go. I'm a master of diagonals. There we go. I don't like it doesn't tell me that I unlocked it. That's kind of annoying. But what are you going to do? Next up. On the bird hunt. Is this baby? I think this is the Lapis Gleed. Gleed? Blade? How do you words? And supposedly it's all the way over here. You know what? Sara might actually... Can I, I don't think I can change this now, can I? No. Oh, you can. 
You know, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look that doesn't look too bad at all. I think that fits your trim very nicely. I still decline to put them on the traveler. In my personal opinion, I do believe that Oh. It's kind of far away. I could go down there. Oh, they're all over the place. There's one over there, too. That one might be easier to get if I'm over there. Is that one circling around that peak, too? I think it might be. It'll be easier to climb up this way. It's got more sections on it. Ugh. Sections. Ah. Oh. You're back. Welcome back. Mm. Stuff in the throat again. Note to self, uh, maybe just stop moving when you're trying to drink and you gotta reach across your body to grab the water. Maybe if the water is on the left hand side, you should just let go of the game controls and just stop moving instead of trying to reach with your right hand across your body to get to the water. Keep that in mind, future me. Oh. Come on, bird. Where'd you go? Okay. Kovacs didn't train me for the one I was saying. I don't play- I don't use Kovacs. Uh... Man, Gensh- uh... Ah, oh, there we go. Man. Made the egg and your ice for breakfast. Nice. I think rice is pretty good. Uh, that's it. So this next one, I believe, according to the wiki, there's one here. But there's also one here. And boy oh boy, do these hilly churl huts look weird. It looks so strange on the map. Like, that doesn't look like something that would be on a map. That looks like a mark that someone made. They're so strange. I think the weirder part about this one is how round it looks. Like compared to these, you can tell those aren't like perfect circles. But this one looks very close. But in terms of egg and rice, just egg and rice? Or they're all marked. Yeah, that is nice. I do wish, I know people are like, oh, Breath of the Wild clone. No, 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 no. And I mean, I won't lie. It does remind me a lot of Breath of the Wild. In fact, you could say the beginning of it, the beginning of the game is very similar. Just egg and rice? Okay. Is very similar. But one thing I do think... One thing I think Genshin did better is climbing. In the sense that the rain won't make you slide down the side of the... Uh... Mountain. Which is... Ah, uh, Breath of the Wild. But you can change the time whenever you feel like it in Genshin. You can't do that as well. Breath of the Wild's one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, mine too. It's really good. In my opinion, the not sliding down in the rain is a plus one for Genshin. But the fact that you can get stuck on so many weird things while climbing is a plus one for Breath of the Wild. Uh, I can't count the amount of times I've reached some like siding or some sill of a house. That I've been like, why can't I climb up this? The sequel's gonna be good though. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. The trailers look really cool. The second trailer made things a lot more interesting. Like, I don't think anyone was really expecting that. I wasn't expecting so much 
open world stuff and what seemed like some sort of like host ruin exploration of the overworld. Like I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking maybe, you know, we'll have some there's a third small trailer. Oh, you're right. That's the got the Oh, this is no, 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 all of you. All of you, please come over here. No, I want y'all. Could y'all. The third trailer is the one with the corroded Master Sword, right? It's like all messed up and janky. You cool. Come on, come on, Cryo Abyss Mage. Get over here. Get over here. Come on, join your friends. Join your friends. You know you wanna. We're all having fun without you. Come on, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That looked really cool. I like. I was like, that was really shocking to me that the Master Sword got messed up that bad. Because previously, everyone, when Breath of the Wild came out, or like when the trailer came out, the first couple ones, everyone was like, yo, what's up with the Master Sword? It's all dented and stuff like that. And everyone was losing their minds. And now just like half of it's like melted off. So, yeah. Hmm. Looks like somebody didn't let it recharge. Hmm. Somebody didn't wait 10 minutes. Somebody didn't get the DLC and didn't do the trial of the sword. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. Trial of the sword is tilting. But that's because I'm bad at the game. Now, I'm up here. Where is my bird? There it is. You know what, Al Aloy? One, you're the only uh, bow character in the game, in the party right now. Two, uh, you are a hunter. So I feel like it's only fitting if you try and get this bird. There we go. Also, the reason why I don't have just do this. Dust on my screen. If they're taking longer to make the sequel, then it's probably because they said they're making it way larger and better. Yeah, the Breath of the Wild was already huge. It's the largest uh, Zelda map, I believe, after Twilight Princess, I believe. Twilight Princess was the previous largest, and now Breath of the Wild was. And I'm okay with them taking their time with it. Like, sure, it would have been cool if they had been able to release it during Zelda 35. That would have been really nice. Or if they'd been able to release it uh, this year. Well, actually, they might release it this year. No, 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 they said 2023, didn't they? Twilight Princess takes second favorite Zelda. Twilight Princess, good. They said 2023, right? I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, 2023. Uh, that makes me upset. That also means that my keybinds. Uh, what what uh, huh? Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it would have been nice if they'd been able to release it for Zelda 35. I will admit that was a little disappointing, especially after Mario 35. But I understand, like, it's 2021. What were they gonna do? And it really would have been cool for them to release it this year, like, 5th anniversary of Breath of the Wild. That would have been cool, but I'm glad it's delayed. Yeah, in that regard, I am glad it's delayed because it means that they're not done with it. And so they're going to keep working on it. Like, I'm okay with a game being delayed if it means it's going to be good. I'd rather wait a couple more years to get a really good game than to have a game come out like on schedule or to commemorate like line up with some sort of like important date and have it be awful. I will say though, on the subject of awful games, have y'all ever heard of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity? No, I'm just kidding. No, I liked Age of Calamity. 
The ending, well, I didn't like the ending too much, I'll be honest. I get it. Ha ha ha, you know, funny, funny, happy end, it's Zelda, all that stuff, but like... What if I wanted to see everything get destroyed? What if that would have been like a cool... Breath of the Wild original had a lot of delays. Yeah, there was the, uh... I know there was the Zelda Wii U uh, tech demo that came out, I think, in 2014. Where you fought Goma. And then they had the Princess Mononoke trailer, and they had like a bunch of other stuff, and they were like, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, 2016. Then they were like, yeah, it's definitely coming. And then it didn't come. And they're like, this time it's coming for real, and it still didn't come. And then that fine and then they started pumping out trailers and everyone's like, psych. Yeah. They were just like, oh, it's gonna come out this for real this time. And then they were like, actually, March, what was it, seventh? Was it March seventh? I don't remember. March 3rd. There we go. March 7th? Wait. Wait. I gotta- wait, oh, hold on, I found the funny screen rant article. I gotta read this for a second. Okay. I know, I guess it's March 3rd? Yeah, I thought it was 7th. But I, I guess it was 3rd. It was 3-3, three, three, uh, whatever, 2016? 2016? 2017? 2017? Oh, no. Batwa. Batwa release date. Batwa, single. Omega Supreme. Duration, 318. Hip-hop rap. It's not what I'm asking for. Uh edge but okay what is this bot what song by omega supreme avenue style what does it say avenue style bees login why am i not logged into spotify That was something. What a song. Um. Uh, that's why I have Spotify and everything set to my headphones and not to go into OBS. We got all three birds. Now we got it. Not all three. Oh, this is pretty funny. It's on to find the crow. And it'll definitely quaff never more. After I'm done with it. When nobody uses Aloy. Hmm. <laughs> Reminds me of... What video was it? It was some Zyox video I remember watching. Oh, I scared away the crow. It did quaff. It'll quaff ever, ever more until it respawns when I reload the game. Um, I was watching some Zyox video, and he must have. It was it must have been some cryo character. I don't remember who it was. And King Raven sends his regards. And he was like. Yeah, this character's got like a bunch of different team comps with all sorts of different options. And like his cursor was on Aloy and someone in the comments was like, I thought there was finally going to be a team that Aloy was going to be useful in. Hot. Psych. Wait, can I catch you? Are you a Kitsune? 
You're just a fox, aren't you? I already have one of you, don't I? Yeah, I already have one of you. Hey, Miyuki. You finally, uh, away from your brother? Perhaps could you be a cryo character in the future? That'll never not be funny. I was really ex- Ugh. Excuse me. I was really expecting when I first saw these, I was really expecting them to like, lead me to some treasure or something like that, to follow them around. And then I remembered I wasn't playing Ghost of Tsushima. There's a chest here. Wow. Actually blind. Oh, it's a Baka Tanaki. That's probably why it didn't show up on the thing with Jiggy. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Is this sacred Sakura? It is. This jilted me so much when I did it. I remember. I was falling down. And I like free fell. I didn't want to like glide down. So I free fell. Except I hit some sort of like invisible wall while I was free falling. And I died. So I started the fight dead. Gotta get ready for uni. I'll try to hop by next stream. Alright. Glad you could stop by even just for a little bit. Uh, I think I've gotten all the birds and all the fish now, so... Um... We really gotta stretch out this next hour. I guess I'll hunt for... I like these little emerald finches. They look like blue jays. I like blue jays. I might hunt for some more crows. Oh, these are the weasel thieves. And I might also look for... Let's look at my Serena Teapot tab. What kind of animals am I missing? It is called Weasel Impact. So I must have one of each weasel. <gasps> Excuse me. I could also go through and try to get some more ornamental fish. Oh yeah, we got Kagura Maru. One of each. But not one of all of them. So we only got the Blue Thunder Weasel. Oh no, we got Red Tailed and Boot Weasel. Snow finch, crimson finch. Do we not have any emerald finches? Well, that's just a right shame, isn't it? Looks like we gotta go find some finches. Atticus finch? I don't have any of you either. Oh, it tells me. Okay, forehead. It tells you right there at the bottom how many you caught. Uh, Snow Weasel. Abiding Angelfish. Oh, I want to grab some of these guys too. But first, we must collect all weasels. Afterwards, we will attempt to find an emerald finch and a gold finch. I have a strong feeling that perhaps the snow weasel will be in Dragon's Find, seeing as it's the only place in the game that has snow. I don't know. Just a hunch. Could be wrong, though. I also like that today I prepared two drinks. Normally I just have water. But today I decided I'd grab water and some Dr. Pepper. And I have not drunk 
much of either yet. I think I've had two sips of the water and I just had a sip of the Dr. Pepper. Um, I'll be honest, I thought I was going to be a lot more tired than I am. <gasps> Snow Weasel, I choose you. They're like, stop, thief. Dun 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 Bake Karage! Oops. Bake Karage! I choose you! Bake Karage used... Uh... Sir. It's super effective. That's not very nice of you. Aloy, use some move that would make sense for Pokemon. Kazaha, use fly. Sayu, use uh, uh, the. I don't know. Beware, I choose you. Kazaha, use gut. I don't know. Bake Karage, I choose you. I forgot, I keep forgetting you don't have to actually hold the button down. It just kind of happens. This is also why I don't have motion blur on. Hello, Geomancer. I will slowly eat away at your shield. Seeing as I have no Claymore character. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I do have Claymore characters to beat away at your Geo shield. Kazaha, use Gus. Make Karage, use Surf. Use Bubble Beam. Alright. Oh, you can just not move? Huh. Well, that was something. I got rid of all the torches, didn't I? Rip. Wow, torturing that poor guy. I don't know. They were the ones who saw me. When the eyes of trainers meet, it's time for a battle. <laughs> Alright. We've got all the weasels. Let's go find some birds. Uh, I'm not gonna look up where these ones are. Although I probably should. I'm just gonna go to places where I think birds would be. And in my opinion, in my experience with birds, you know, being the expert ornithologist that I am, uh... The birds in Genshin tend to usually be in the middle of the road, like this. And I'm pretty sure I already had one of you, but that's okay. Yes. I'm looking for blue ones and the golden ones. The golden ones. Betty White, is that you? Sorry, Boar. It's you or me, and I'm not gonna let you run into me and do 200 damage. Wow, what a game. Well, that's not very kind, dude. Oops, forgot about that. That's not what I wanted to do. Please don't attack me, Mr. Animal Slime. I have no complaints with you. Please let me go on my way. Please do not chase after me. Please leave me alone. Please, I swear I'll leave you alone. That's what it's called, right? I don't think- no, I think it's just called I swear I'll leave you alone. I don't think there's a please at the beginning. Time 
time to start talking about villainous manga. As we all know, the best genre. The most popular genre. Everyone knows, obviously. Isekai? Harum and C? Imagine kids torturing the animal in hydro slimes by catching them and using them as balloons and water balloons. That'd definitely be a thing that happens. Amber talks about how... Hey, look. Amber talks about how people... It, it's illegal to use animal slimes as, to, like, do, do a Team Rocket blasting off again. And she's also said that she's gotten her license revoked several times, which is questionable. Do I have a squirrel? I can't- I don't know if I can trust what that says. I don't know if that's counting how many I've caught or how many I've- Excuse me. <gasps> Excuse me. It is. Now, the real question is- Oh. Well then. Anyway, moving on. I would like to see some emerald finches. But I'll take a lizard as well. A dendro slime. That's not what I wanted to do. And now it's hiding. The squirrel saw freedom for a single second. It did. Dendro slime. Whoa. I got some range. I wonder, can you run into these things? You can. Interesting. Interesting. Fascinating. Now, you'll excuse me. I'll be on my way. I have some emerald finches to find, and you're not helping. I think I spent like 15 minutes the other day, not the other day, like last week, trying to fight the dendro slimes over near Ostaha. They had the safe conduct commission over there. And so I was trying to do it, and I got ambushed by some dendro slimes. And of course, being a reasonable person, who will continue to fight and not change the party because I was in combat. I had Ganyu, Diona, Venti, and Kokomi in the party. Or maybe it was Dangerous Conduct. It, either one. It was one of them. I think it was Dangerous Conduct. I tried to fight the Dangerous Slime, but found it quite hard to fight the Dangerous Slime when I had no Pyro. And... No real way to attack it. Hello. Don't come following me. They're all running away because of you. Ooh. Now I'm Cryo Yoimiya. Copium. I was reading, uh, Is This Hunter For Real over on Reaper the other day? Actually, yesterday. And man oh man, does the chat in that manhua crack me up sometimes. Dendro slimes and people run around with Dendro characters soon. <laughs> yep. Uh, I wonder what they're gonna do with Dendro. I wonder how that's gonna work. Because, like, there's already this kind of thing about how the, like, the sort of archetypes that the different elements run into. Like, Hydro is healing, Electro is, like, energy, uh, Geo is, like, defense, Animo is, like, Shred and, like, CC, and then Cryo and 
Pyro were like the DPS elements, I guess. Dendro Electro buff Copium for months. <laughs> yup. I hope that when we get a Dendro character, I hope that we get access to burning. And I hope it's just as stupid as all the Dendro sandwich girls who fight us in Abyss 10. Is it Abyss 10? Abyss 10 1 or is it Abyss 11 1? Oh. It's so tilting. Imagine me how he makes this a Dendro burn is super OP. It's the return to Hu Tao grass burning. So when you're in Abyss fighting Dendro enemies and Venom all rip. Yup. I mean, if they keep it like Samature Roll, he led himself on fire. But this time, his luck's run out. He's the one who needs the healing. All those people who run Pyro Goblet Bennett will be sorry that they're not running HP. The real question is, what is this? And when did I finish it? And why did I come over here? Not like, why did I come... Excuse me, why did I come over here this time? Like... When in my Genshin career did I decide that coming all the way out here was a good idea? Like now? We're just saying ignore that part. Where are you? Oh. Interesting. The Dendro Archon. I am personally a little disappointed that it was a mistranslation and that the Dendro Archon is a lady. That disappoints me a little bit. Not because, uh... I'm upset that we're getting an overblow of female characters, which I am a little upset about. Uh, game balance is fun. But it's more because the whole... it kind of like killed the theory that... Oh, interesting. It kind of killed the theory that... The Dendro Archon was a dude, but then Yai and Miko talked about some lady, and it kind of killed the theory that maybe... The Dendro Archon that everyone sees, like the public Dendro Archon, is like a figurehead. And that the real Dendro Archon is like somebody else. But I guess we kind of already kind of did that with A and the Electro Archon. But that was just something that disappointed me a little bit. I thought for like Sumeru and like all of its like knowledge kind of stuff, I thought that could be a really interesting kind of dynamic because they already talked about something about like restricting knowledge or something in Sumeru but I thought that the inclusion of like oh the state head is actually like not who you think it is it's actually all a lie I thought that would have also been pretty interesting who knows it might turn out to be like that but I really like that theory when it never before have I been so embarrassed Imagine walking into fake Zhongli death, but real. Yeah. I don't know. I'll be honest, it wouldn't take a lot for, to impress me with the Sumeru story. I think... The... I think the main Inazuma Archon quest was kind of bad. The supporting quests were great, and the beginning was fine, but I think... It was too short. I understand. I think they're going, trying to go for some sort of like, uh, not books. They're trying to go for a, like, a three set pattern. Like one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. But then they also have four, so. Like, they're trying to go like, bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 like act three. Three acts for each uh, chapter, right? I understand that that's what they're going for. But... I don't think the resistance was fleshed out enough. 
I think we went from... And I know we spend a lot of time with the Resistance, but I think we went way too fast from, oh no, escaping, to oh no, Resistance, to oh no, we're fighting the Shogunate. I think that happened too fast. Yeah, Resistance didn't matter. They really... They didn't even... See, here's the other thing. that They didn't even do anything! Oh, that's that's what tilts me the most, is that they didn't... Kujasara stormed off to go see uh, Senora, then she got curb stomped, and then we fought uh, Senora, and then Raiden was like, Oh my wa mo shindeu, and Senora was like, Nani? And then she died, and then we came out, and she was like, I'll let you leave Tenchu Kaku, and then we took one step out, and she was like, I right, time to kill you, and then the resistance did nothing. They did nothing. They didn't even save us. Do you want to see Coke? Can we do something? Do her story and future events. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, I know. I just think they didn't have enough time. I get that they want to, like, contain everything in each one. The other thing, too, is just, ma or just make them super long. Like, maybe they didn't want to do that. Maybe they didn't have enough time. But... If you want to make sure that everything happens in three acts, disregarding this prologue, um, if you want to make sure everything kind of happens in this one, two, three kind of pattern, just make them super long. Some of these big events are so long, like the Inazuma Festival. Yeah, the Inazuma Festival was super long. The Enkenomiya thing was super long. Uh, and I really like both of those. The Chasm was also pretty good. But the story quests, the character quests, I will say, for Inazuma were very good. I still don't like that Kokomi did the whole, like, oh no, I work too much. But I do acknowledge the fact that it isn't the same as Ganyu or Jeans. Or... Noel's. I do understand that it is a different time. It's not just, oh no, I'm doing too much work. I need to stop and take a break. It is different than that. Because in Kokomi's, uh, in regards to Kokomi, it's not that she's overworking or that she's overworked. I mean, she is overworked, but it's not just that she's overworked. It's just that she just doesn't have the personality for it. She's an introvert, so it's it's just like mentally draining for her. Not necessarily because she's working too much, or doing too much work, but the work that she's doing is too much for her. As opposed to someone like... Jean, who just does way too much stuff. But... I don't know. I do wish... Kokomi was a bit... I, she seemed a bit too flat in the story quest. I would have really liked it... If, and this is just because I like um, kind of convoluted type things like this, but I would have really loved it if the reveal for Kokomi was that she wasn't actually like they're all like, oh, she's such an amazing strategist, and she gets Deus Ex Machina all the time. But I would have really loved if she really was just an awful strategist and that she wasn't actually the one making the decisions. She was just like a public figurehead. Once again, Tenjiro Archon, public figurehead thing. I just think that'd be really interesting. I feel like that's an unused uh, plot point that they could have gone for. They already talked about how she didn't want to be the leader. And how she's a shrine maiden, or she's not shrine maiden, she's a priestess. And she wasn't like, this was something that she was, was thrust upon her. What's this? Bad doggies. That doesn't sound fun. Um... But I think that would have been a really interesting angle to play. That she's not actually good at what she's supposed to be doing. Somebody else is actually pulling the strings behind. Which I guess, technically, that happened. The Fatui showed up and they're like, Here, we're going to give you all delusions and prolong the war in Inazuma. But that's not... <sighs> Should have made Goro the leader figure and poke me the true one easy. Yeah, I think that would have been really good. Or make it so Kokomi 
make it so the resistance was different. Because, like, the thing with the delusions is, Guru was like, Lady Senga no Mia, something something soldiers for her weaponry. And she's like, well, we should go around and ask them nicely to not use them. Like, I understand. It was kind of like, well, we either don't use these and we die, or we use them and we die, so we might as well use them and maybe have a shot. But... That was something that uh, upset me a little bit, just because it didn't make too much sense. But I think it would have been really cool maybe if the Fatui had been more directly involved. Like, instead of manipulating things from the shadows and, like, nobody knew, like, Kokomi was unaware, yeah, I think it would have been more interesting if perhaps... Kokomi was put into this leadership position by the Fatui. And... Don't do that, my guy. I don't like corrosion. I don't like corrosion. I just said that. How rude. I think that would have been an interesting angle to play. I do also think the Fatui were a little bit of a cop-out, though. Uh... This could sound like, Traveler got the biggest elegant Scaramouche, just laughed, right? Like, that's that's really what the resistance is for, right? It provided a reason to put Scaramouche back into the story. To introduce him to all the people who didn't play Unreconciled Stars, like myself. Wow. Are you really doing some damage? Enemy reinforcements coming. Uh, this is why I never set my commissions to see in the zoom line. Come on, Tomo, please crit. Thank you. Come on, Sara, do your thing. Do the Sara thing. Coke, uh, touching is going to die. The world is not funny. Guy Fieri currently owns three functioning restaurants. The world is not funny. Half the world doesn't have access to clean drinking water. I know that's how the words are. Uh, I don't know. We're no longer weasel impacting, which I kind of feel bad about. But there's only so much you can weasel about. There are only so many weasels that I can impact in this game. What that means, I'm not quite sure. But... It definitely means something. It also means I'm gonna drag this poor doggy out to water. It's gonna learn to enjoy the beach. It's gonna learn that sometimes dogs should swim. There we go. After much pain, we have finished it. Now, is that all the animals? I believe we have found all the animals. We are now just missing the birds. And I have gone off on a tangent trying to get them. We've already gotten a single blue horned, li horned lizard, a pith lizard, a Dorn Dunagi, coral butterfly that I will never have in my possession. Rip, please rerun the Enkonomiya event. Um, finch and golden finch. Well, why don't we? Try to find the unusual hilly churl. And see if we run into any finches along the way. The emerald finch may be in leeway. Just because of its position. Unfortunately, the unusual hilly churl is not here. Just the usual hilly churl. The un-unusual hilly churl. And unfortunately for this un-unusual hilly churl... Bye, have a nice time.
It didn't die. Well. Proof that... Sometimes the hilly trails are just built different. It's all that, uh... Redacted blood inside of them. Man. Chasm Dane's Leave Archon Quest is wild. We will be reunited. Part 2. Featuring, um... A Your Name-esque reuni reunition. Reunition? What am I thinking of? Reunion. That's the word. That was a bit too hard. I'm also going to scare away all the birds like this. Alright, Aloy. It's your time to shine. Actually. Like, would this not... It would... Is Heart of Death not also great for Ayato? Would that not also be great for him? Hydro really gonna have like three healers when Hydro Archon comes out. No polar armor claymore. I'm upset about that. I'm upset that we don't have a pole arm, a hydro pole arm. It's literally high it's literally water. It's literally water. I think a Hydro Claymore might be cool too. Water Blades? I guess that's Child. <laughs> hmm. When I think of Hydro Claymore, I think of Unlimited Blade Works. I think of Archer. But then I remember that Child exists. The Archer class really is made of Archers. <laughs> I am kind of- it's- it's scary how similar he is to Archer, sometimes. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. He's got a bow, he's also got two swords. Thinks you all be like... Right? Oh, did I scare away some of the... Zing Cho and Chong Yun have to be like my favorite pair in the game. Just because Chong Yun's gotta be like my favorite character in the game that I don't use enough. Just because my man's burst just looks so cool. And the Rhyme Chaser Blade and the field and his character card and everything about this man. Like my man styling on everybody out here. He got the Cloud Parting Star. He has the Rhyme Chaser Blade. He's got his final attack combo where he shoots out the... Where he does like the Final Fantasy 7 thing and he's like... It's time. Fighting game projectile. Go! My man's just so cool. But... Mm. He'd be good in Freeze. I maintain the opinion that... Uh... I like him in Freeze Ayaka. I know he does basically nothing. He really... What does he do for that team? He infuses Ayaka's attacks with Cryo. Oh wait, Sherry does that with her dash. But... I don't know. Shonen Chi should be like true Ayaka. <laughs> Boom. Right? And then you can slap on like Ocean Hued or something on the Chi Chi. She is a character who definitely uh, carried me through Spiral Abyss a couple times ago when I was using um, 
Eula against the Rift Hounds, and I kept dying to corrosion. Or when I just didn't want to worry about shields, I would just do this handy little thing called uh, using her burst. And then I would just wail on everything. And I would heal. And I'd be like, oh, I'm back to full health. How convenient. Now, if I believe there are two spots here as well. Unusual hilly trail. Why do you have to be in so such inconvenient spots? Get some more water. Uh, Kaya Freeze is pretty fun too. He just doesn't have the. I feel, I run into the same problem playing him that I run into playing Touching. It's just the knockback and like multi-target. Like if it works, it works. But when it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. That's the biggest shame. I guess that's what Kaza is for. Slap down the rain swords, slap down Kazuha, maybe get some hydro going and everybody. And then uh go get that frost layered blade and start charge attacking like crazy. Not here either. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's all the one set locations. What character don't I have? What four star characters don't I have? That's the better question. Do I have them all now? I think I have them all now then, now that I got Sayu. I do. Please getting a rerun supposedly as well. Mono remains to be the only standard 5-star I do not have. With C1 Deluke, C2 Chi Chi, and C2 Jean. Please, Mona. I just want Omen. I want another Hydro Applier that's a catalyst that can reliably apply Hydro for free seems that isn't Barbara. <laughs> Please. Please, I beg. We start by elemental type. Both of you be like, wait a minute. Uh, I need... I need more tenacity pieces. I can't keep shuffling tenacity around on... Um, Diana, Toma, and Kokomi. But I also don't have good ocean hued pieces for Kokomi, so should I even worry about tenacity? I don't think so. But then if... Kuki Shinobu, Tenacity. What am I gonna do? I don't know. I recently hit a snag in my Eula team where I could maybe replace Diana and take a more offensive option like Rosaria. But the problem is, I don't have a healer unless I run. Uh, Credit type Amber on Lisa, and that's kind of scuffed. I don't know. Of course, I could run like Diana and Rosaria. I could just like put Bennett on there, but then it's Bennett. Like, I could run Diana or Chi Chi, but then that would be giving up Rosaria again because I would want Lisa or Sara to run with Raiden. Yulo Raida, Yulo Raida, and Diana, and usually it's uh, Sara or Lisa. It depends on what I'm trying to do. If I want to go all in on Yula, I'd probably choose Rosaria or Lisa. But if I want a balance between Yula and Raiden, I'll choose uh, Sara or Lisa just because it'll go Raiden E. Uh, Diana E, Eula E, and then my Eula combo. And maybe with Diana all at the beginning. And then I'll do Lisa all and uh, Raiden Burst for the Noblesse boosts and the Defense Shred. Or I'll just do like Sara EQ, switch to Raiden. 
like Sara E aim shot Q ride in E or like ride in Q and then away we go. But I found out that I could probably ditch Serpent Spawn and just take Sea Lord instead. Because I'm getting a similar amount of damage. Which surprised me a little bit, but that's mainly due to the lack of attack buffs I have in my team. I think if I ran Lisa with Noblesse, it would probably be better to run Serpent Spawn, and then I would just take Diona instead. The problem there is that, then in my opinion, I'm getting too front heavy on um, Eula, using her burst and then use it, using Lisa burst and then Raiden burst, not Raiden burst, Eula burst. Because then I have no buffs left over for Raiden. I mean, I could just run, like, Noblesse Diona as well. But I like Tenacity Diona more than Noblesse. Just personal preference. I like the extra 20% HP. And I do like the one... Uh, I don't know, if, I don't think her E counts as multiple hits. But... I like the little bit of boost that you get from her E. It really just comes- oh, a trust. It really comes down to whether or not I want to sacrifice Raiden's personal damage in favor of Eula or not. Of course... See, now, here's a question for y'all. Why can't you be sucked up? Why? Oh. Where did... where did you go? There you went. There we go. Please give me... no. I was hoping for a messenger, but I guess not. Now, unusual Hilichiro can also spawn down here as well. I'm probably gonna find out I somehow missed a place. After I finish and I have to backtrack and go through again. That's going to be annoying. But... I think... Did I get Sara up to C... I just got her to C4. I don't think she's C5. Where is she? Sorry. Yeah, C4. Who did I get a constellation for recently? Oh, it was Fischl. I got Fischl's C6. So that's exciting. I could sub in, like, Tenacity Fischl uh, for my Eula team. Run Tenacity, did you get the Unusual Hilly Trail achievement yet? I got the 21. I'm working on the 51 now. I was really hoping to be here. Stop. It's 5, 10, 20, and 50, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I might, maybe, that's another reason to get tenacity though, would be to want the ones in my world after this. Sure, if I can find the ones in my world. Unusual hilly churl, where for art thou? It is the east, and unusual, unusual hilly churl is the sun. Um... This one, this one. Oh, there's one over in Fuji Slope that I've never seen him spawn here. So every time I check, I'm like, maybe this isn't the spot. But I've seen the pictures. It says he's over here. I have my doubts. Never seen him. And then I think I'll look for the birds after we track down the hilly trail. Once again, not here. You know how it is.
There's one over here. I'm trying to remember all the spots. I know there's one weird one I always forget about. There's two at the tree, there's one at the shrine, there's one on the cliff, there's one on the other cliff. There's one in Storm Terror, there is... One in Chinsi Village, there's one in... Near the Geo Bishop, there is... Supposedly, one up here. Not here. One by the camp, one in the ruins. One over here. The one near the shrine. Yeah, I chucked Animal Cube. I've done Animal Cube, Cape Oath, Storm Terror, uh, Andreas, Wind Rise, the Geo Statue, the Village, Slope, the Tents. Gorge has one too. Let's see. I don't remember. I know there's one that I always miss somewhere. Genshin map. Where is the unusual hilly churl? Yep. Check there. Gorge. Oh yeah, gorge. We got gorge. We got tree. We got wolvendom. We got cube. I must be missing one. I must have missed it. I, we just checked tent. We just checked bishop. We just checked ruins. I, we're at the waypoint or the Sealy. We checked and see. We checked the tower. Let's check statue and let's check statue first. I'm pretty sure we've got all of them. I know I checked here, but let's check this one again, just in case. This is the most annoying part about finding the unusual hilly trail is when you were like, I found all the places and he's at none of them. And then you're like, well, maybe you just didn't look hard enough. It's like trying to find the Animoculus. I see no unusual hilly churls here. Let's check the gorge as well again. I know he's not at Storm Terror because I threw the other one off a cliff. I'm pretty sure he's at Cape Oath, not at Cape Oath either because I looked up there at the beginning. We ran up with Sayu. And I'm pretty sure he would render in. So I don't think it's a case of I haven't gotten close enough. Always, this is the one I always forget about. There's a spawn point on the peak. I always forget about this one because it's hidden under a waypoint on the map if you if you are zoomed out far enough. Not that he was here last time, but. <laughs> Supposedly like here or something there can be an unusual hilly churl not that i've ever did you check the leeway village i did check didn't see village i'll check again no there's no point in not checking um we checked tent. I know we checked tent, unless he just didn't load in. We checked uh, the pass. 
We check. We just checked statue again. We definitely checked Steely. We checked Gorge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's check. Village again. You should be straight ahead on that one. I remember because I did this one in co-op. And he spawned on the ledge right in front of the one where the chest spawns. The little raised platform where the chest spawns. And there's a geo slime. Oh, is that him? No. Yeah, so... Should be either right here or right here. I must be blind. Let's check Cape Oath and the Shrine again. I really don't think it's Windrise because there- I don't think there's any space for me to miss seeing him. Oh, well, since you've decided to so gracious, graciously let me off here, Sayu. Unusual hilly shirt? Silly Billy hilly shirt? Let's check this one again. And then Wolvendom. Because if it's at Windrise, then I don't know what to say. And away we go. They're on a daily timer, right? They should respawn every daily reset. There should be two, if I'm... If I remember it correctly. Two spawn every reset. Can't believe it. Note to self, if you ever need to fill an hour of a Genshin stream, just go looking for the unusual hilly trail. It'll take you at least 45 minutes. Tips and tricks of the trade. There's no better way to fill time than being bad at the game you're playing. Well, my unusualness. I see you're not on this side overlooking the wolf. Could you perhaps be on the other side and have just not rendered? Perhaps. I dare say. He's not. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, we've double checked everywhere in Mondstadt except for Storm Terror's domain. So, after this, I'm going to check the tent again. Oh. 
No, just the usual hilly trail. Nothing unusual about the sky. Double check the village. If I missed it on the... In the valley, then I'm definitely blind because... Oops, that's not the right button. It's literally right in front. Unusual hilly churl? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to double check. I want to get my bleh. get the ones in my world and double check your uh your world. Yeah, maybe. They're, they are on a 24-hour reset, right? New ID. Oops, that's not the right button. Friends. Oh, people are on. Search friends by ID. Paste. Search. Add friend. Oh, wait, what was that? What did that say? Can I see my... No, I can't. I can just- you can't see sense stuff. Oh wait, did it finally get rid of the thing for this? Did it finally get rid of the notification? Thank you so much, game. Okay, so there should be one here. Which means the only places I haven't double-checked are the valley and the Sealy. And if, if he's here, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, accepted. All right. Let's just zoom past these guys and see. Is in fact not here. Okay. Request to join. Exact 100,000 Noel hit. Wow. Wow. Ooh. That was a shoulder pop. I don't know if that came up. <gasps> Hello, unusual hilly churl. I have decided that it is time to bring a suitable party to mark you. And that suitable party is called charge attack spam. So we will begin by And there we go. He was in fact not here. But I guess we can check we can split up too. I'm gonna check Stormbearer. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure they're on a daily. They should be on a daily timer. It's gonna be really funny when we find out that uh, the Hilly Trail isn't on the daily timer, and it resets and like it, it like the resources every three days, and it turns out that like I'm on. I don't care about the tall Hilly Trail towers. I do care about getting stuck. Let me E away from here. There we go. And away we go. This isn't the right way, but it is a way. Oh, sorry. I've taken quite possibly the worst way to get up here. 
Ooh, that was funny. I always love it when the voice lines line up with when I hear them on stream and I get a double. Okay, not here either. I assume it's not Windrise. Oh, well, these have spawned. So, K both is probably already been checked too. But, I'll continue on anyway. No unusual heli churl. Check Wolven Dumb next. I really dislike some of the Leo A locations, but that's probably just because uh, I have more experience or I'm more familiar with Mondstadt than I am with Leo A. <gasps> Excuse me. So it's much easier for me to get to the places in Mondstadt than it is in Leeway. Even though some of them are pretty convenient. Like, the tent is a very convenient spot. No, Elytra? Elytra? Where are you? Really churl? Not here either. I think Gorge has been checked. I'll check it again, anyway. Valley and Village have be are being checked. Oh. Village. Hmm. I will say, not the most ideal. Not the most optimal. Places for the hilly trail to be. The two places that I have a very good, where I have a better understanding of where you would be. Interesting. Never seen that happen before. So... Yeah. I've had that happen near the cliff. Rip. Yeah, so the railway in front of the chest one. And dragon stuff. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm... Okay, I'm, I need to look this up. What's Unu? And why is it on the Genshin Wiki? The unusual hilly trail spawns two spawn per day. There's a 12 hour cooldown at, before it can be fought again. If the player finds them but leaves them alone, they will remain there for 12 hours before reappearing in another location. 12 hours, the first kill spawn locations and count will reset. They will despawn. I'm looking at the wiki, and I am not seeing it.
Oh. I see. I think I found one of them. Thank you for your help, Luigi. Oh, they can... I guess they were. Apparently, there is one up in this area. Apparently. There's one, like, here. I had not known that. Is that on the map? It is. It's just, once again, hidden by a waypoint. Alright, Sayu. Away we go. I should probably pick up the other three teeth as well. That'll probably be a good idea. Like the Owl City song. Not that I remember the name of it. I just remember he says something about dentists. Like when they're best, when the best, uh, something about like people with good hygiene when they leave, that's when uh, dentists lose their patients. Now, what is this picture? Where is this picture? Looking towards... Sai is the only 4 star I'm missing right now. There's still a chance. There's always a chance. Well... Well... This was... He's supposed to be looking. But... Not. Looking towards I am gonna lose my mind. I think I know one spot I always miss. Oh Well, except it. Uh, there is... Hmm. There is this spot. And I'm looking at the wiki end on the map. There are the two edges of, uh... Boreas. There's also Cape Oath, the Shrine of Depth, the Duduapa Gorge. Yeah, and there's this spot over by the... Is there more than one spot? Maybe I'm not looking at the right... I have a chest here. That wouldn't surprise me. Pudgy. Squidgy. Not edible either. I see a chest here as well. Quick, let's get out everybody's favorite. Amber. Amber, go. Another chest. Above. Huh. The more you know. There's supposed to be one here, I think. Hilly Churl? Silly Churl? Hilly, Billy, Silly Churl? 
Billy, silly Billy, hilly churl. Billy churl, Jilly churl. Billy churl. Uh, Millie churl. I already said Millie churl. Billy churl. What are some other illy churls? Billy churl, nilly churl, gilly churl. Here to do some sightseeing? Guess not. Interesting. Fascinating, some might say. I like to call it discouraging, though. Personally. Hmm. Let me check if there are any other... Places I'm not thinking of. I want to say the slope and... Eek are probably most likely, but we've definitely already been here. <laughs> Excuse me. It's definitely not here. How fascinating. Connection in an isolating age? Oh, I can't go off that? It won't just let me rock it off? That's no fun. Angel, I something, I something, I something. Mimi, I something, I hear it, my song. Alexi, Mark, call me a hypocrite. I need to finish my own film. I quit. Searching for the hilly churro. It's still not here. Maybe I'm checking the, the wrong spot over here. I might be checking the wrong spot. I might be too far up when I check. I can only hope. I can only hope it's in this place that I don't really check often. And that it's not in some like super obvious place that I'm just completely blind to. I can only hope. For my sanity, as well as yours. Hilly churl, wherefore art thou, hilly churl? There's a wind vent here. How convenient. Interesting. I've never thought about that.
The real question is... Does that mean we- this means that we've missed two! Only one spawns at a time? I thought two spawned. Oh, I see. No, go into it until horse one in the. Okay. So now we gotta check everything again. Well, I'm already at Wolven Dumb, so. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't fight him with Amber this time. She doesn't even have full artifacts. She doesn't. She oh she has thunder she has two feet she has two feet thundering fury. Oh no. What is this world coming to? Uh Thundering Fury Amber. What a world we live in. It's almost as good as Blizzard Stray or Yan Fei. That's my favorite. <laughs> Please be in Woven Dumb and save us the trouble of looking for you. We just can't have nice things, can we? I have no idea if you've already checked Winter Eyes and the Gorge. But I will assume so, and head over to the village. The village people. It reminds me of YMCA in Minor Key. Not here either. Let's move on to the next one over here near the shoal. Maybe heal Amber? Thank you. And if he is in fact here, probably gonna have to change to the party because this is not a hilly. Oh, would you look at that? With a lovely view. Now, I was under the impression that you couldn't CC the hilly churl, but I guess you can. I was always under the impression that that wasn't a thing that it lets you do. He's so tall. Kind of reminds me of Kakashi Goto. And then it was done. And let's check that achievement progress as well. Wonders of the world. Capture a crystal fly. I wonder if you had to capture multiple crystal flies. Oh, we're almost done with Zoo Tycoon as well. That is Challenger Series 2. Well, that was strange. 50 times. Uh, Haley Trail Hunting. I think it's funny it took me less time to do Challenger Series 5 than it did to, take, to do Challenger Series 2. Hmm. This is a fun one. 
Dodge one entire round. I like how that's set up. This one is kind of annoying, but there's more bishop. The fraught return was pretty fun. Oh, it's an actual thing. Huh. Is that Rex Lapis? What an iconic duo. Teleports behind you. What an iconic duo. Catching and Zhongli. What an, uh, what an iconic duo. The Overload Machine, my favorite. Pyro Flower, most OP enemy. Can't be defeated by anybody. Look at this. After all this, no damage. It's perfectly fine. Get down its level. Uh, cry, uh, Pyro Whopper Flower. Whopper Flower? Registvine? Registvine who? Oh, this is perfect for co-op too. I still have commissions, don't I? They're all in, in the Zuma though, aren't they? A gentleman strikes in broad daylight. Do they? Do they? The real question is, who do I want character of friendship with the most? Who's got the coolest looking cards? Well, that would be uh, Toma and Sara out of the ones I do not have. So we all know it's time to take two supplies. All right, Toma. Time to live up to your job. Where are these supplies I'm taking? This is why we need a crouching mechanic in the game. Like, why? how come they give us these and then... ...don't give us the ability to roll or to crouch? And make it so much more fun. Withdraw to a safe area. No! A safe area, they say. Thank you. Full speed ahead. That's right, other people can do commissions as well, can't they? I always forget that's a thing. It's a mechanic, but you can only use it for like 10 seconds in some scenario. Yeah. They will be gathered after more time has been passed. Each kill will gain additional time. The Hoyo is so evil. We used it in the uh, dog thingamajiggy. The ninja dog, samurai dog. <laughs> What's happening? What is going on? <laughs> Fascinating. That reminds me, I should pick up my Sango Pearls again. Now that those have all respawned, I'll need them for somebody, and that somebody's name is Goro. Well, bam! Tomo with the assist. Look, Mom. Me too. Grab some of these. Grab some of these. Do one of these ones. And then say, why am I even bothering with this? I can just sail up here. Oops. Spatial awareness, non existent.
Oh, wait. Please don't be what I think this is. Please don't be the one I'm thinking of. Please don't. Please don't be what I think this is. Good, it's not. A crackling crisis. Complete the time trial challenge. It's time for DPS Toma, obviously. Wow. We did it. I was almost worried for a second. Eula happens to be the most convenient Claymore character. Oh. Wow. 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 Really gonna do that, huh? Nice. What do I need amethyst slumps for again? I don't know. Excuse me. But I have enough to make... Three more Inazuma craftables. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll, he'll... Here after all as well. That's a thing. Healing time. We got the boar too. Are we gonna. That's not gonna be enough. No, we would need 60, and we're only gonna get 20? Okay. Yeah. We're only gonna get 20. I could. Ooh, but I could do Spiral Abyss. Maybe that's what we do. I'm nowhere near pity for anything. But maybe, just maybe, is this a liar song? Oh, let me flex my dragon spine help in chess. Okay, not what I was expecting, but okay. Let me grab Diana, I guess. Oh. Interesting. Oh, we got a teaching of ballad. That's the real prize. Oh. The magic. That's not the right teleport point. This was really fun. I really like the sky nail, dragon nail, tooth nail, dragon tooth, sky tooth, whatever they wanted to call it. I thought that was pretty cool. Dragon sign would be a lot cooler if sheer cold wasn't a thing everywhere. Or if it didn't... Is that a down arrow? That is a down arrow. If it didn't hinder so much progress. Hello? Hello? I need to find that medium. Oops. Ah. See, why can't we do that for all... Why can't we do that for all sorts of different buildings? Why can't I do that over the roofs of buildings in Liyue?
Fascinating. Oh. Oh, so that was just a... Uh, I see. Common chest. Oh, common chest. I wonder how close... Have I gotten the Dragon Swine achievement? I don't know. I think I have, right? Wherever it is. Yeah. It's not very high at all. Thanks for that game. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ugh, going the wrong way. Quick, we must ascend. Okay. Shaders really kind of did me in there. by one. Keep going up. Keep going up. Oh wow. That's better. Ooh, also, we're in Dragon Spine. So, let's put on Snow Tombed just because it's Snow Tombed. And we're on our way to opening it back up. I think I went the wrong way. It's up in here. Quick, Eula, jump. Ah, there we go. Interesting. Here. Oh, this is actually the one that's high up, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the snow everywhere, right? Yeah. Worst glitch in the game makes me have to climb back up. At least you're alive, no health. I'd very much prefer if you didn't do that. Saved by the bell. Really scraped on by on that one. Oh.
Fascinating. Switch over to Diana, because she has much more health. More hilly churls. Oh, common chest. I see it. Here we go. And then it's... What's his face? That we're not gonna bother today. What are you? Oh, you're a ruin guard. And away we go. Hilly Charles? Is that you? Interesting. Come back here. Thank you for the grim heart stack. I'll make sure to use it on an enemy in the next couple seconds. And if not, I'll make sure to just use it on the ground, like now. Fascinating. A boar. Fascinating. Sheer cold. Ah. Here's another chest. And yet another great find. Whatever will I do? My Diona is only at half of her 25,000 health. <laughs> That's not right. She's missing an HP piece. That's not right. Something about her artifacts are off. She should have at least 29,000 health. Somewhere they will there will be a agates or whatever it is that they're called. Or N agates. Somewhere there's a big explodey flame rock that we can whack. Hopefully. 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 Ideally, most sincerely. Oh. I see. Must go yep. <laughs> to the agate. I want to go where the agates are. Something, 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 something. We've got something and something, a something. I want more. 
Oh, of course it just had to. Well, I guess this calls for Sayu. We already have animal resonance. This seems like a job for her. Ignore us, kind hilly churls. We are on our way to unlock a chest. Quickly, quickly. Zuto. Really? Already? Does that not work? Oh wait. I can't tell. Does that not work? That's a shame. Oh wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Do you have to actually hit it? Does that have to be a physical hit? Hold on. Ventuses. Ventai. What would you call more than one venti? Would it be a ventus? Or would it be Ventai? World may never know. The correct form of Venti. The plural of Venti is Venti. Of course it ran out. Maybe. Let's see. It might have. I think I got it. I think I maybe possibly got it. Also, is he using Wind Bloom? He is. Why am I using Wind Bloom? The absolute state of using Wind Bloom. I guess it's called. Uh, Fischl is too busy using Stringless. Welcome to burying back, uh, oh, whatever these are called, for 10 minutes. <laughs> Quick, we must hurry. Got it? Nice. Away we go, Sayu. One hundred percent. Let's see. Ninety-nine. Hoggers. There exists. A sixth. Mm. Top ten hidden dragon spine chests. What was that? The enemy.
捕まらないぞ The Shimatsu Ban sees all. But you know what the Shumatsu Ban did not see? The theft of her, the statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narakami Ogosho, God of Thunder. What have they done? Why did they decide to write that? They had all the chances. 100% no matter what. I don't even know where I'm going. Two are here. Nice. I'm gonna laugh when it somehow doesn't give us 100%. It's like, nah, nah fam, this is 99 point... Well, it rounds, but... This is 99... Take two. Go down... Yes! Go down the hill, Sayu. I see one. I didn't take any damage for that. This sounds like a time for gratuitous venti bursting. Look at all these look at all this big damage we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no you don't. Oh, that might be interesting. Four venti bursts all at the same time. It's okay, venti. You might not have any health, but it's okay. Whoa. What was that? Gotta love the co-op lag. <laughs> Survey says... 99%! Nice. I knew it. If there's a will, there is a way. And there was definitely a will here. A will to... Drag this on even longer. This should really be renamed 100 uh, chest impact. It's like Louis Churl. Wow, I can't believe Kirito is in Genshin. Oh, it wasn't even that high. Never mind. That was a pretty fun quest to do. Oh, wow. Get another great find. One hundred. <laughs> Finally. After all these times, why don't we have a clap emote? Is there one? Do I just not know? 
Why is there no... Yeah, I know. I was gonna. I was just gonna type back, and I was like, "Why am I typing back? I can just talk." Yeah. Uh, me having a hundred percent in Narakami is definitely proof that there are way more than what it says when it says a hundred. I mean, we just found that. Uh, we found the chest in Gale Song, and it said a hundred. So never know. Venti is slowly dying. Dragon's Fine is now 100. The only thing left is the Scarlet Hills. And that'll happen eventually. But now, I feel compelled to kick you out of my world. Zeno. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't really matter. Imagine Xiao Mei comes in stream and sees my Xiao weapon. What? You don't think that the Dragon Spine Spear isn't an amazing weapon for Xiao? To be fair, what are your options? Like, all of the craftables are garbage for him. Like, maybe Crescent Pike for the additional charge attack damage? Good luck on Abyss, yeah. Um, what's actually going to happen is I'm going to turn in... I'm in co-op, so I can't do it anyway. I can't turn in commissions. But what's going to happen is uh, turn in commissions. Get those 20 primos or whatever it is. And then I'm going to see if I can... Clear... 12-1 and 12-2. Koragi, Ruin Guard. Ah, gross. Well, let's split this up into two sections. Venti Abyss, it is. I almost did that before realizing Venti does not have... What is this? Oh yeah, Toma, I forgot. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. It's this legendary plan I have called, called we're not using Fischl either. So, uh, get Windbloom off this man. Get him with the Stringless. It's called... Genshin doesn't care if you use the same team on all the chambers. So we're going to do this thing called, uh, Freeze Ganyu on the first half. And, uh... Rational on the second half, and then we're going to do Chamber 2, except we're going to reverse the teams, kind of. Garbage effects. Garbage! Thank you. Have a great time. Thank you for the melts, that's very kind of you as well. Now, if y'all could come back here for a second, that'd also be pretty great. Now, for all of y'all in the back, all you trash mobs. Treasure Hoarders. This is for you. Oh, that was- I've never seen that happen before. This is simple enough. Hey! 
Thank you. Now we just back out. Destroy 12 1. I mean, 12 1. De definitely the easiest of the chambers. I would almost argue, if not for the fact that I couldn't uh, 3 star it last time, I would almost argue that aside from the levels, 12 3 is easier than 12 2. Overall, Waffer Flowers are so annoying. This time, we're going to do something weird. Yeah. I think... This will be the plan. Actually, that's not the plan. Um, fine, I'll take energy recharge, whatever. And then we don't really care about this one, so... That didn't get who I wanted it to get, and also I'd never change Eula's weapon, so this is going to be kind of an L on my end, but you know... We work with it. We work with what we got. Oh, I didn't charge cancel. Rip. Then we just do one of these. Do another one of these. Do another one of these and one of these. Oh. With a couple attacks. Not be able to see anything because of the shaders and Kasa is burst. Do another nuke. Toss down one of these. Oh, well, if y'all want to come over here, that works too. Do one of these. Do one of these ones. And then these one of these ones. And then we're in the way, because I don't want to get hit by that. Do one of these ones. Toss down another one of these. And uh, I guess we do this. Want Kata, but he's so long, he might get skipped. Rip. Yeah, I mean, they really knew what they were doing. They were like, alright, let's put him with the Dendro characters. And then, you know what? There we go. And then this side will actually be a little bit more annoying, honestly. Because... Nope. What happened to my backstab? And then they kind of just don't get frozen because the Electro, but they stay frozen sometimes. Oh, I forgot I don't have a shield. Just walk over here and kindly don't fire. Kindly don't do that. Yes. Kindly don't do that. Kind no. What you doing there? Stop it. That thing that you're doing. No. Don't do it. Don't do that. That thing that you just did, where you launched the missiles? No, not that. Don't do that. That's not very far of you, Ruin Guards. Oh no, not my... Uh, fine. I'll lay a trap for you. Now time to tilt trying to fight these Whopper Flowers with Eula. Standard Whopper Flower experience. 
Elemental mastery and healing effectiveness. Healing effectiveness, I guess. What kind of options are those? This was not the time to bring Snow Tombed. This was not the time to decide that I wanted to use a subpar weapon. Spiral this was not it. Get over here. The rest of y'all. Yeah, the rest of y'all get over here. There we go. Hopefully I didn't waste enough time. Alright, hopefully I didn't waste too much time that time. Uh, we should be okay. Eight minutes is a little bit on the low side, but should be good. Not having a shield is kind of an L. Probably should have switched those around. Do one of these. Hit him with one of these. Hit him with one of these. Hit him one of these. Looking pretty good. Aside from that part. Toss this down as a safety measure. Toss this down as another safety measure. I actually want to see if I can get rid of you first. Which one are you? This will not be the three star, that's kind of an L. But I actually don't even know. I only need 60. I don't remember. If it's 100 for each, that doesn't make any sense. Come on. Collector guy, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. Rip. Alright, Rosaria. Cool. Two stars. Better energy management probably would have been enough. It's doable. Oh. Oh, I gotta get my- okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, the 50 is just gonna have to be enough. We're just gonna have to not do two pulls, I guess. Or I could sell the ring and I could get 50. I could just sell the ring. That is a possibility. But I don't want to sell the ring. Selling the dull ring is like a betrayal of having a useless item and a never-ending quest because you refuse to complete it. Come get your experience here. Data commission, thank you. Thank you. We don't need to do expeditions now either. That puts us at not enough, right? Yeah, 10 away. Rip. 
10 away. I could fetch a good price for the dull ring. But we won't. Oh wait, what am I talking about? It's 320. What am I thinking? I was thinking 360 for some reason. 160 times 2 is 320. I can't wait to get nothing. Debate club, here we go. Can't even give me the debate club. Actually, what are we at? I know that make we're at 64 overall. Yeah, I mean, we're at 7. This will be number 8. Debate club! Debate club! Debate club! Okay. Okay, game. Okay, game. I see how it is. I see how it is. Reincarnated in Genshin, but I can never get a debate club. What a fancy, fake, first-person perspective. It only works in a very limited angle. Only if you're 60. Oh, if 60 plus you're near. Yeah, I am near, somewhat. And we got these things, which I suppose I could open, but I refuse. And I've still got one more overflow. But that's not fun to watch. Instead, like I said, and we've been doing for much longer, this is the power of playing a game where you can just do whatever and that's not Scarlet Nexus. Sorry, Scarlet Nexus, you're a great game, but... Uh, you're a great game, Scarlet Nexus, but sometimes when I've played you for... Uh, so many times... It just... something gets lost. Emerald... Emerald... Finch. We at least gotta get this blue bird. Archive image. Change history. What? What? Wait. What? Wait. Wait. There's no entry on where they are. We'd have to... Oh, bitrate. We'd have to search all over the world. We'd have to go on the grand journey to find out where the unseen finch is. But that'll be something for next time. Next time on Genshin Impact. Because that'll give me a funny stream title. Uh, it'll be, where is the unseen finch? But that's where we're going to call it for today. As Fetching probably says something about, come on, quit procrastinating. Um, tomorrow, it will not be Genshin. Instead, stretch. It'll be Scarlet Nexus. And a chance to earn more channel points to do fun things with the store items. The real of which there are only two real fun items, I would say, because the rest of them are sound alerts. You can do painful things, like I wonder what's going to happen in Genshin delay. I've heard they're just going to extend it, like they're just extending everything to just stay the same as it is or has has been, and just make it come out later. But. If they extend Ayaka banner. I believe they're just putting a banner on afterwards. I'm pretty sure there's just a new one. Friend's gonna go insane. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's just like a uh, a placeholder banner. Or at least that's the last like leak I saw. The Mona banner. 
Touching banner rerun? Maybe it's time for Child's uh, fourth rerun. Maybe it's time, you know? Time for another Child banner. Kaza would be like, excuse me. Kaza would be a really smart choice on their end. No leak predicted the delay. Kaza would be a very smart choice. A character that's been continually hyped up. And then, right before... Yelan and... I don't know, or like right after coming out, if they do Yelan and Kuki Shinobu. Now, here's a thing. I saw something. I don't know how true it was, but I saw something the other day saying that Yelan and Kuki Shinobu would be on two different banners. And so they were going to do like a Xiao banner or something. They were going to do like a Xiao banner afterwards or something. Which, I don't know, but that's what I heard. It seemed kind of weird. Could also be to promote his new article. Then Ito Kuki banner. Okay, yeah. So that might just be... Who knows? They might just run those instead. Just like, dual banner and then just have Ito as like a follow-up. Unless that was the original plan. Who knows? Need to install weapon banner be like, right? I wonder. It seems kind of weird to put Primordial uh, on a feature banner. But I guess they've done it before. They put like Jade Cutter and stuff like that on the banner. It just seems kind of strange. Redhorn Thresher. I might... I might want to go for that. Aside from the fact that Weapon Banner, why would you go in Weapon Banner, but... I don't know. Noel. I don't know. A defense claymore with a crit damage subset? Substat? Hmm. I don't know what I would do with the second Primordial Jade Wing Spear, though. I guess I'd hold on to it in case there's ever another Spear DPS. I could put it on Rosaria. Lose out on Favonius and get that. Or Toma. But I really don't think it's worth refining. You ask me to use new bias from a profile and signature. Yep. I did see. I think it's wild that... Of all the things... I feel like I just want a five star uh, catalyst. Like, sure, I'd take a claymore for Eula. But I really just want a catalyst. What am I supposed to do? Use Widsith on everybody? What about Yanfei? Although. Chances are, depending on the catalyst, it probably wouldn't be better than Woodsith, but whatever. No, give me the Red Horn. The Red Horn Thresher. That's why they only have two horns. Somewhere in here is something that tilted me. Ah. Here it is. This guy right here. Mm, never up got it all the way up to 90 because I was like, you know, I have enough time. I can I can do it tomorrow. I have enough time. I can do it tomorrow. And then the event ended. I don't know. I honestly don't know what we're going to do. And now I haven't... It's not even like... Under the pretense that I've been... Rambling about what's coming up ending the stream because I really just kind of started talking and then we were talking about the ban- Oh, sorry, Anna. We were just talking about the banner and now Nothing's happening 
It's just me sitting here. Staring at an inventory screen. What is she looking at? It's a map of Liyue Harbor. But anyway, like I was originally saying, we have fun expensive items on the point store because uh, one of them is just funny and the other one is extremely disruptive. So that's why it's expensive. But that's why we're doing the Scarlet Nexus stream. That's why we're doing that. <gasps> 490. Wow. 3 of 72. <laughs> Most of those 72 are probably people who don't have points. Because they're bots and I've cleared them. <laughs> but that's beside the point. I lowered the sound effect uh, thing. Actually, you know what? I want to live test this. It hasn't worked before. Uh, does it not count... It does count me. I could just remove myself from number one. But whatever you are, just ignore me and move yourself up. So you're number two in the real ranking. Um, yeah, let's see. Do I remember how this works? I think I remember. Let's check. I want to see if this works. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Magic is everything. Okay. So, like I suspected, imagine if number two is stream elements. Uh, I think I actually banned stream elements from accessing points. I think it's automatically in like the banned users. Uh, on the stream on like the actual page. It prevents them from like gaining frames, it prevents them from like uh, activating things. But like I thought, the chat thing popped up and it said that I redeemed the magic is everything alert. Uh, but the actual alert on stream did not play. And I have yet to figure out how to get that to work because I run the tests in OBS, I run the tests in Streamlabs, and they all work, and then when I try to do the actual redemptions, none of them work. Uh, so, that's all good. Now, ending the stream tomorrow, Scarlet Nexus, uh, we're going to be moving on to Phase 6. So hopefully we can do some more channel betting, or point betting, when we get to any new bosses. Uh, so far, I believe I have... Beaten. I think I've only lost two of the bets, so I think I've beaten all of them. I might be giving myself too much leeway. I might just hardline everything at like five tries or five lives as opposed to like the six or seven I've been giving myself. Because I definitely would have lost more of them. I feel like it's right on like a nice balance if it's five. Because that's usually where I either fail or I clutch it in time. But you never know. But anyway... I'm not looking forward to the rest of the game. Not because it's a bad game, but because I know what's coming. And it is time at the end of the stream, now that this really is the end of the stream, and I swear we're going to end the stream, we're not going to keep talking, um, to give away points for the dropped frames. So I'm going to lock it in right now. Uh, OBS says that we have dropped two, uh, 302 frames. So congratulations, uh, Luigi. You're now number one because you were present for the stream. And we dropped... 132 frames or 302 frames so you now have are now 302 frames richer and i think that's it let me go through the rest of chat as well but congratulations you are now number one time to open new lag and drop one new frames i mean what <laughs> it's a strategy It's definitely a strategy. It's something that could be done. But yeah. Now, I just gotta make sure... 
Linda. That puts you at, what does it put you at? 700 and something. 792. Wow. Impressive. And you're the real rank one because I don't count. And also Zura. Got to get yours as well. Uh, da, 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 302. I would clear my own. The problem is because I watch my own stream and because I want to be able to test uh, my alerts to make sure they work. Um, I would just have to I would reset them all the time and then it's kind of a pain when I want to test things. But. Oh, well, anyway. With 802 frames, you could redeem eight sound alerts or if you wanted to bet a lot and maybe win. Uh, eventually, you might be able to do some fun things with the stream, and I might actually adjust those prices as well. I might lower those down, I might have them. Are you implying I can't beat you? Uh, I'm implying that I may or may not be better at the game than I think I am. And I may or may- or... I may or may not choke and get caught out by the boss's attack and then just die. So that'll be fun. Uh, the Gunkin Fisher yesterday was... Certainly a time. The first fight, I believe, went very well. Two through four went very bad. And then five was okay. But hopefully we can get better. Hopefully... Uh... I can do some stuff. With the hover foot. Oh, she's fully floating now. Nice. But anyway, that's where we're going to end today's stream. Tomorrow, once again, for like the fifth time already, we'll be Scarlet Nexus. And hopefully there'll be at least one boss fight so we can do uh, a point spedding. If not, well, that's kind of an L. And the best part, the best part about the channel point betting is that I inflate the own pool by betting on myself. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> I inflate the pool by putting my own points that come from an endless supply of being the channel owner <laughs> into the pool. <laughs> so, the hardest boss dealer for these games. Uh, I actually, depending on how far we get, once we roll around to like, I think it's phase. It's either phase 12 or it's phase 11 towards the end of the game. There is a boss I know is definitely going to tilt me unless I find some sort of super cracked like skill setup. Um, because we have to fight this boss called Dominus Circus, which is actually three bosses rolled into one. And it's got a neat little gimmick where 90% of the time it's invincible and immune to all attacks. Yeah. Please secret boss appear. That's super for my chance to spawn. I don't know, I could just get absolutely, like, dumpstered by one of the bosses. Oh! Oh! I don't know if we fight it on Yuito's route, but there is a boss that I don't think I've- I- I don't think I actually know how to beat. That you have to fight. I think I've always just somehow, like, brute forced it. So that could be the chance. That should come up pretty soon, too. Uh, I don't think it'll be tomorrow. But it may be, I don't remember when it shows up, it might be phase 8, phase 7. So it might be either tomorrow if we really speed through things or on Friday, possibly early next week. But that'll be fun. And then um, we can do triangle strategy and some more Genshin. I'm not sure what kind of bets I could do in triangle strategy, being a strategy game. We could always do things like, will I clear the map in so many turns? Stuff like that. But I said we were going to end the stream. So this is where we end the stream. And as we end the stream, once again, I realized I don't think I did this yesterday. Uh, maybe I did it yesterday. We can do weeklies and Genshin co-op in bet if you die. <laughs> we can go into, I can queue up co-op with Azdaha, and then see if we end up with a co-op Zhongli. 
Uh... I'll play healer and not heal you. Oh no. And I'll play... All DPS. And just face tank everything and die. But anyway. I don't... Remember if I did this yesterday. I don't think I did. I think I just ended the stream yesterday. But I would like to thank everyone for watching. As I always do. Except yesterday. In which case, then I don't do it. Because I forget. Um... But we went on quite a journey today. We dropped 302 frames according to OBS. I looked earlier, it was only at 167. So somewhere along the way, we dropped a lot more frames. I'm not sure what that, when that happened, but apparently it did. Um, we found the four missing birds that I was missing from my Pokedex, I mean Compendium. And we also found the missing fish. However, there are two finches that we have not seen. So the next time we do Genshin, I'll carry the daughters and senior. <laughs> so the next time we stream, it'll most likely be... Where is the unseen finch? And we'll look for the finches because the wiki does not have their locations and I could look up a YouTube video and where to find them or maybe look on Reddit or do something smart and actually figure out where they are. But that's no fun, is it? That doesn't create content. Making good decisions is never good content. But anyway, first I must mute the game, lest I forget. There we go. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and uh, goodbye.